Hey guys, what's up? It's Mokozunki. So I have a quick video to make. This is my loot from killing the Saradoman boss 500 times. That does not mean 500 Sarah kill count. That means I killed the boss itself physically 500 times. So that would be 2,000 kill count. But anyway, um, I have all the loot here that I gathered from killing her. Um, I must say that this boss was a major tease because all these drops that I got, I got within the first 100 kills and then I went 400 kills dry and haven't got anything since then so I got five drops in the first 100 kills sadly no hilts so I didn't really make all that much money um, but we're gonna price check what we got um, I guess I'll just price check how much the drops are first so the armadillo crossbow are the best one and the whisper is pretty decent as well so from the drops alone I made 15.5 mil and then from everything else it adds up to 27 mil so was this boss worth doing no it really wasn't just because um this all comes out to about two mil an hour or so because it or less because it took me about i don't know almost 20 hours to do this so it really wasn't 50, between 15 and 20 hours so it really was not very good money per hour um if you don't get a hilt then ceridoman is just not worth doing i'll put it that way um, but I would recommend if you do Saradoman, collect some of these stuff like Super Magic Potions. Um, I had no idea they were worth that much. Uh, stuff like Unicorn Horns and Diamonds. Um, stuff that you wouldn't really think is worth a lot of money really adds up to a lot in the end. So anyway, I'm going to sell everything and uh, see how much the exact price check comes out to be. And the 3 mil cash is all from... I kept very close track of all the minion drops in the boss cash drops. So that's where I got that from. Okay, so I've sold everything except for the major drops, which I'm going to sell on camera. But first of all, if you're wondering why I have rune halberds in my inventory, um, that is because for kill count, I killed the spiritual warriors of Saradoman. And so they dropped some rune halberds, rune kite shields, adamant 2H swords, and adamant battle axes. And I just banked them, and I put them in the price check, because technically I wouldn't have killed them if I was, wasn't going to Saradoman, so it's kind of part of the Saradoman killing. So let's sell the drops now and hopefully they sell for a fair amount. Um, the Hiss I believe is the worst necklace because it's the range necklace and hardly anyone uses range. Um, the Murmur is the mage necklace, the Whisper is the melee necklace and hopefully that one sells for quite a bit. So none of these are crashing too hard which I'm pretty happy to hear about and the Saradoman sword is pretty useless there. It's my worst drop and finally the Armadillo crossbow which I'm surprised that it sold for over 6 mil but let's collect um, the armor crossbow was 6.3 mil, so that was the best one, and the hiss was uh, nearly 5 mil, so that was alright. But anyway, um, about 26.5 mil, I believe, um, so it really was not worth doing this boss at all. I would not recommend it, um, just because it's not very good money per hour. Um, I just wanted to try it out because I hadn't really done much Saradon one in the past, and I wanted to try to get myself a hilt. So all I can say is, is the boss worth it? It's only worth it if you get a hilt. If you don't get a hilt, then it's not worth it. So whether it's worth it or not just completely depends on your luck. Um, so if you're feeling really lucky or if you just want to try out the boss and see if you can get yourself a hilt, then go ahead. But otherwise, um, I'd recommend to stick with more constant bosses for money making like DKs or um, QBD or even like a boss like Bandos, which isn't as good money as the two I mentioned before, but is definitely more consistent than this boss. But anyway, that's about all for this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you feel sorry for me. I'm just kidding, but farewell.